Okay, in today's episode of Caliber War, we're going to talk about uh, one of those things that happen a bunch in the firearms industry, and that's one competitor not liking what their competitor's doing and having to play monkey see, monkey do. Uh, the Winchester short magnums were originally intended, right, to take a full-length magnum cartridge and make them fit and give the same performance out of a short-action rifle. Well, Remington, not to be outdone, and certainly not wanting to stamp Winchester's name on any of their weapons, which again, I understand, they come up with their SAUM, the, or sometimes called the RSOM, the Remington Short Action Ultra Magnum or the Short Action Ultra Magnum cartridge. And in 2002, they dropped one called the 7mm RSOM, or 7mm SOM. Now, you have to look at what the 7mm WSM that this was meant to compete with was meant to do. It was meant to take a 7mm Remington Magnum performance, the performance of that cartridge, and put it in a short action rifle, which Remington wanted to do the same thing. Uh, this cartridge was first released in the Magnum version of the Remington Model 7, which was basically a micro-sized Model 700, and uh, did it quite well. So what do you got? All right, again, you've got your, your 7mm RSOM, right? It's apparently quite popular in uh, F-Class shooting, which F-Class is a pretty interesting shooting event that I would have interest in playing in myself. Uh, it's running a .284 or 7.2 millimeter bullet. And case length, 51.7 millimeters, okay? So this is definitely fitting in a, a short action uh, very easily. But you're getting 65,000 PSI per SAMI out of it. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's pretty freaking stout, all right? Um, and my typical source here. All right, so you got a few different types of, uh, of bullet weights here. I've, I'm seeing five, much like your Winchester short magnums, you're typically seeing um, limited production. I've got one here from Remington. This is the seven millimeter Remington short action ultra magnum. And uh, it's the 150 grain core lock bullet. So let's see what we got. 3,110 feet per second with 3,221 pound feet of energy. This is a pretty good hops. This is a pretty stout round. All right. Uh, now we see a 140 grain Acubon as loaded by Nosler. It's pushing out 3,150 uh, with 3,084 foot-pounds of energy, 160 grain um, partition, stepping out at 2850 with 2,885 pound-feet of energy, and Nosler's Trophy Grade, which uses an Acubon, 160 grains, 2,850 again with 2,885. So this is a stout cartridge, but it's hard to find ammo for. 